how many times have you looked through your cupboard and just missing that one particular thing? Hey, Chavez County, I'm Tamara Schubert, your family consumer science educator for NMSU and Chavez County Cooperative Extension. Thank you for joining us this month. We're gonna be making some mixes that we can keep and store in the kitchen. When we're looking for food items in the grocery store, we want ingredients that we can read. And more often than not, those boxed items or pre-made items have some preservatives and things that we don't read. So we want to limit what we're putting into our bodies. So we're gonna make some mixes that you can store at home out of ingredients that you probably already have. And so this week, we're gonna make some ranch dressing or some ranch vegetable mix. So you need a few simple ingredients. You're gonna need some minced onion. Most of us have this in our pantry already. You will need some parsley leaves, some salt, and some garlic powder. Simple ingredients, right? You do want something airtight, so I have a canning jar today that we're gonna store this mix in. I'm gonna post the recipe towards the end of the video so that you can have it all with you handy. Snap, snap a picture, whatever you would like, or you know, just watch the video a lot. So we're gonna start with our minced onion, and we're going to do five tablespoons of minced onion for this mix. And I love how these smell. The great thing about this mix is you can use it for ranch dressing or a vegetable mix. Store it in your airtight container and it keeps for a while. So if you're used to buying dressing in the store or even if you're used to making it with those ranch packets, this is an easy way that you can make it at home with ingredients that you love. You can customize it for you. We're gonna move on to our parsley. We need seven teaspoons of parsley. You can make this, this recipe bigger or smaller depending on your household needs. It is all up to you. On our salt, we're going to need four teaspoons of salt. And then for our garlic, we only need one teaspoon, so this one's pretty easy. And that is it, we are done. We're gonna put that lid on, shake it around. So again, I'm gonna post the equivalents to making these at the end of the video, but this little jar can be used to add to sour cream or mayonnaise, for your ranch dressing, your salad dressings, or even your vegetable dips. Quick, easy, good for you, or better for you, um, with ingredients that you know right from your kitchen. Join us next week for something new.